Lane number one is Megan Burns from Alto Swim Club. Lane two from Wolfpack Elite, Kylie Alons. Lane three from Alto Swim Club, that's Allie Rat. Lane four, Kelly Pash of Carmel Swim Club. Five is Ella Easton of the Alto Swim Club. Gina Freritz of Kentucky Aquatics in lane six. Marina Opunyashova in lane seven for University of Louisville and University of Michigan swim team. That's Sierra Schmidt in lane eight. Kylie Alons, your leader in lane number two. Saw her last night in the 50 backstroke where she took second place, as well as in that 100 free where she finished in fifth. Alon's an eighth place finish this year at NCAAs in the 50 freestyle. We'll see if this big lead that she has already established for herself on the front half of this 200 freestyle can be held on to. Alon's in the lead, Sierra Schmidt, who's in lane eight, sitting in second place. Schmidt sixth in the 1650 at NCAAs this year, and she was Fourth in the 1500 earlier this weekend on Thursday afternoon. Coming up on our final turn, and it doesn't look like Kyla Alons has any plans of slowing down as we've got 50 meters to go in this B final. 129.02, 30.98 her split, one of two swimmers under the 31.0 mark. And that's not going to be enough if you're going to try and track her down, wrapping up this 200 freestyle. Alon's 202.21 this morning is a recorded personal best in the 200 freestyle. If she can hang on, she's going to blow that away. Might be tightening up a little bit as we hit the final five meters. She's going to hang on to win the B final, and she's going to go a 2 double -O 53 A huge improvement for Wolfpack Elite's Kylie Alon's.